shorts. Just wear short shorts. And when Beyonce said, if you don't jump to put jeans on, baby, you don't feel my pain. I felt her pain with these, honey. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, this channel is focused on style, beauty, and lifestyle through a size inclusive lens. And today doing a realistic H&M and Mugler collaboration haul. If you are on the internet at all, then you have definitely seen that Mugler and H&M released a collab about a week and a half to two weeks ago. When I saw the, the campaign that went out on to, onto social media, I was convinced that, that it would not be a size inclusive launch. I didn't see any visibly plus size models in the campaign and to me that kind of was a telltale sign that we wouldn't really have anything that would fit a larger body and as disappointing as it was i kind of made peace with it and was like okay whatever i guess i just won't get anything after the campaign launched h&m did a show and i was so surprised to see some plus size models in the show um we saw precious and paloma who are everywhere right now i decided okay like let's just hop into it let's snag a few things let's see what works let's see what doesn't i thought about going into store but living in new york city i knew i would probably have to be there at like 5 30 in the morning and i just wasn't that committed i was like you're already on the fence babes like there's no need for you to go stand out at the crack of dawn at Times Square and so once I got online I kind of felt like I was in the Hunger Games like I was like fighting for my life like what can I get I tried to get the denim in the men's and the women's and by the time I got online it was gone like all of the denim had sold out in my size so I wasn't able to snag that I also wanted um, another dress like it was the wool dress um and i wasn't able to get that and there was a coat that i wanted i really wanted that leather coat and that also sold out before i was able to get to it which is okay just clearly not meant to be saving my pockets which i'm grateful for i ended up getting just five pieces i got the mini skirt i got one of the bodysuits not the viral one that you see everywhere pairs of pants and one sleeve dress with the glove and so i'm really excited for you guys to see it on me today it is going to be a very honest and realistic haul um, i'm not holding any punches i give you guys just honest real feedback on what i think of this collab and if it's size inclusive or not so here are the first two pieces i ordered the skirt and the bodysuit the bodysuit is in a size extra extra large and the skirt is in a size US 20. Um, as we can see, this is very, 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 very short. Like who wears short shorts? Just wear short shorts. Fingertip length does not apply here. It is shorter than fingertip length. I don't even want to turn because y'all are just going to see cheeks. I. I think it's cute. It's giving very much so ho, which is okay. Like, I am team look like a ho sometimes. But I think this might be a little bit too much for me. Now, let's get into the bodysuit. Again, the bodysuit I bought in a size extra extra large. Um, it has thumb holes. You guys know if you watch my Eloquy haul, I love a thumb hole. There's not enough fabric here. I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm wearing a bra. Um, I just pulled the straps down so you can see that it's off the shoulder. But there's not enough fabric to cover everything here. And if I were to pull it up, then my bra at the bottom would be showing there. So, I don't think that this is a win. I will say though, I'm going to pull my straps up. I will say, if you are the type of person who likes to color block and is liking the idea of like, you know, like those shoulder boleros, you could wear a really cool fun bra maybe a different color um, and wear it like this, maybe with, I don't know, style it up however you sit, see fit. But I think this with a different color bra, if it doesn't fit here, could work. I don't necessarily know that I want to make this work. I just feel like it just doesn't fit and that's okay. I'm okay with like sending it back. I like this skirt a lot. I love the fabric. It still feels thick. The construction of this is really well made, I will say, but it is not made for girls with booty. So if you got a booty, not for you, and that's okay. 
we sometimes gotta sit some stuff out. If I were to keep this, this would solely be a standing skirt. <laughs> I would not be able to sit. I would not be able to dance in this. Like, you know, if I did a dance, it would be like a little one, two step like this. I couldn't fully like sit down because y'all are gonna see the world. Again, I can't turn around, but there is just a little bit of space at my back. It's gapping just a bit because the Madonka Donk is there. Um, yeah, I wouldn't say that this is a win, but I am surprised that it actually like got onto my body. For both of these pieces, I will say they're on my body. I wouldn't say that they fit. Like I said, this is a size 20 in the skirt extra extra large on the top for what it's worth I don't hate it but I also don't love it I don't think that I necessarily need to keep either of these pieces um, but I guess time will tell all right so next up are the shiny pants which obviously do not fit um, they got everywhere except for like the booty and the upper thigh so these are definitely a no. I got these in a size 44R. They were the largest size they had available um, in the men's section. All of the other larger sizes had already sold out. So I decided to try and give it a whirl, but obviously it just didn't, wasn't meant to be. I will say I'm not super disappointed that these don't work because I don't love the fabric of this. I don't think that I'm missing out necessarily with this particular piece not fitting. So I really don't have much to say about this. It clearly just doesn't, like it wouldn't fit at all, which is okay. Next up are another pair of pants. And when Beyonce said, if you don't jump to put jeans on, baby, you don't feel my pain. I felt her pain with these, honey. This was a struggle to get into. I'm wearing these in a size US 20. And baby, this is the tightest 20 I ever done put on in my life, okay? Um, I can turn around for this, because I want to show you guys the back detail. It's got like this cutout where the lower back slash upper booty is out. And then in the front, it's cutouts on the side. Um, you do have to wear like a low rise underwear or like I had to just like shove my underwear down because I'm wearing like a full brief right now and obviously you would see that. Um, I think that I might have too much booty for this because even me stand just like standing here I feel it like kind of shifting down and if you can tell it is a bit long. They do have I think nope I thought there were slits on it but it's just supposed to be like a, a flare at the bottom so this it's supposed to be for someone who's much taller or you could wear this with a heel and I'm sure then you would look much better. I don't know that I even lo love these like I think it's a cool design but I don't know that I love the fit of these on me like you see me adjusting them I feel like if I'm doing that right now I'm not moving I'm not out me being out I would be extremely self-conscious about this like shifting way too much during the evening um, these are definitely evening pants. These are not daytime pants. Actually, you can make this a daytime pant depending on where you work. Um, yeah, I don't know that I would feel super confident or super comfortable in these throughout the course of a night. Um, if they were to have a little bit of stretch as you wear them, maybe, because then I think I could feel a little bit more comfortable with this, like, not riding down as much. This material is definitely a bit thicker for the girls who like a little bit more coverage on their pants. I do like the seam down the front. I really am into the cutout detail. Like honestly, if it fit a little bit better, I would totally keep these. Um, but I just don't know that it's worth me keeping with them being long and feeling just a little bit off in the, like, in the butt area, just specifically. Like this is, it's cute. But I don't know that I need to keep it, you know? So far, nothing is like blowing my mind and I really wish it would have. Trust your gut. When you feel like a collection might not be for you, really trust that for yourself. Because I had a feeling 
that this stuff wouldn't really work for me and that's okay it's okay but I am a little disappointed because I wanted it to look amazing and it just is not hitting the way I thought it was gonna hit or that I had hoped to hype myself up to hope and believe that this collection would work and I just I don't think it works for me which is okay all right last but certainly not least is this black dress with one sleeve and a glove and all of these like scarf details and hang details and cutout and mesh ruching all of the things are here on this beautiful dress but the fight that I had to fight to get into this dress I've got to be one of God's strongest warriors because he's given me the toughest battles because I truly was fighting for my life to get into this dress Number one, I saw other hauls that were saying, oh yeah, this dress is a little difficult to get into. And I was like, oh, like, I'm a smart girl, I'll figure it out. I was wrong. It took me a solid 15 minutes just to navigate where my arm goes, where this arm goes, where my body, like, then to zip it up. As you can see, like, it's, it's a lot happening. It's a lot happening. All of that to say, I think out of everything that I've tried on, this probably looks the best. But do I love it? No. This dress is very comfy, like the fabric of this is very light, even though it is long sleeve with the glove, and the glove actually can come off, I don't want to take it off right now, but the glove you can like take off and like just wear it as a one shoulder long sleeve dress. Um, all of it feels very light. Um, I think this for anywhere that's not super hot yet you totally could wear this right now or of course save it for the fall this is a great fall dress wearing this with tights and a nice heel like a sling back heel i think would be super cute out of all of the things i truly do like this the most i just don't think that <laughs> i want to fight that hard to get into a garment and i feel pretty restricted with the zipper as you can see it's like buckling a little bit or it's like pinching here that's because like it doesn't really fit um so it's unfortunate it's very unfortunate but we tried we tried all right guys so welcome back after the haul as you can see not a lot worked for me this go round which is okay um I am a little bit disappointed because I did want some of these things to work. I think they could have been really fun pieces for my wardrobe, especially in the fall and winter. However, the fit just wasn't great for my body. Um, and as hard as that is sometimes, I just recognize that, you know, sometimes things just don't work for you and we've got to keep it pushing. So I think that everything will be getting returned. Um, I will say that I'm really impressed with the quality of all of the pieces. I think everything was pretty well made with the exception of like maybe one or two pieces where I felt the fabric choice just wasn't the best. Um, I will say that overall I don't think that this collection was very size inclusive. I think it's a little interesting seeing that the history of Mugler um, and the house Mugler was one that celebrated diversity and women in all shapes and sizes. In fact one of his muses and good friends Stella Ellis was a plus size model um, and she walked the couture runways of Paris for him and Jean-Paul Gaultier back in the 90s. So for such an iconic house like Mugler to not honor the history of the original, you know, founder and creator Thierry Mugler is a little bit disappointing. Um, I can't be too mad at the fact that I'm going to be saving some money like that. All of that is going to be returned. I'll be sure to keep an eye out for collaborations in the future that might be more size inclusive because we all deserve to feel fly and fabulous. Um, yeah, so that is it, guys. Thank you so much for being here. I'm so grateful for you. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time.